This is the Volvo S90, the Swedish company's saloon version of the V90 estate. It's based on the same underpinnings as the larger XC90 SUV, and features similarly eye-catching design features like shaped LED daytime running lights. There's some fierce competition from established cars like the Audi A6 Saloon, BMW 5 Series Saloon, Jaguar XF Saloon and Mercedes-Benz A-Class Saloon, all of which are highly competitive and very desirable. However, the S90 is off to a good start with sleek styling and a well-crafted interior boasting a choice of tactile trim and leather upholstery. There is a bewildering array of advanced safety and driver assistance technology available, as well as a range of efficient engines and a driving experience dubbed relaxed confidence by Volvo. Familiar trims and engine range sharing a platform with other Volvo models means the S90 comes with a choice of no familiar engines. While there aren't many to choose from, it's just diesel power at present with a plug-in hybrid coming later, there should be something to satisfy most needs. There's a choice of two diesels in the S90, one called D4 and the other D5 power pulse. Both are 2.0-liter engines with four cylinders, while the D5 uses an all-wheel drive system. Both of these engines are available in all three trim levels of momentum, inscription and redesign. There's also a plug-in hybrid petrol electric model badged TA due later in 2017, which already features in the XC90. It produces a combined output of 407 horsepower, yet offers claimed fuel economy of more than 100 miles per gallon and ultra-low CO2 emissions. Huge list of safety and driver assistance tech Volvo is known for focusing on car safety and the S90 delivers when it comes to the amount of technology it offers to keep the car and its occupants out of harm's way. Falling under what Volvo calls Intel if, as standard the S90 features city safety autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian, cyclist and large animal detection, as well as adaptive cruise control featuring pilot assist, which can control the car in queues and keep it in lane. You can also add plenty of extra assistance systems from the options list, such as automatic parking. Volvo S90 Saloon Model History March 2016, brand new saloon lineup to replace the Volvo S80, with first deliveries due in late summer. A pair of 2.0-liter diesel engines is available, a front-wheel drive D4 and an all-wheel drive D5 power pulse. Two generously equipped trim levels of momentum and inscription are offered. June 2016, purposeful looking redesign trim available to order with both diesel engines. Distinguished by a subtle body kit, dark alloy wheels and a gloss black mesh grille. September 2016, uprated D5 power pulse available with an aftermarket Polestar performance optimization package option. 240 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque available. November 2016, improved safety systems with the launch of slippery road alert and hazard light alert. Data is sent to an information cloud and shared with similar like equipped cars. December 2016, multimedia system enhanced to be compatible with Android Auto and Skype for business. Read the full Volvo S90 review to find out if it's an executive saloon that should be on your short list. Diesel only for now front or all-wheel drive hybrid arrives later providing the power for the Volvo S90 is a pair of diesel engines. Both units are 2.0 liters in capacity with four cylinders. Two engines, different setups the diesels on offer are the same as you'll find in the Volvo V90 estate each paired up to an 8-speed automatic gearbox. Expect it to be the most popular, the D4 is a front-wheel drive setup, producing 190 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. It'll complete the 062 miles per hour sprint in 8.2 seconds and will go on to reach a top speed of 140 miles per hour. This engine feels gruff and noisy at low speeds, but it smooths out on a cruise. The more powerful option is the D5 Power Pulse, which produces 235 horsepower and 480 newton meters of torque. It's an all-wheel drive setup and will launch from 062 miles per hour in 7.3 seconds.
and top out at 145 miles per hour power pulse technology used in the D5 features a tank of compressed air that helps the turbocharger spool up when driving at low revs. When the driver demands more from the car under hard acceleration, this is used to reduce the amount of delay and power delivery you might find in a regular turbocharged car. It's an effective system, with the D5 gaining speed smoothly and quickly with little fuss and without too much lag. It's more of a surge than a real kick in the back, but the S90 gathers pace effectively and in a very civilized manner. Automatic transmission only if you're a lover of manual gearboxes, the S90 isn't for you. As with many large executive saloons, the Volvo is available exclusively with an automatic gearbox. If you take a relaxed approach, it's a smooth and responsive gearbox that suits the S90's laid-back nature rather well. But if you demand too much of it and drive more enthusiastically, smoothness is replaced with a jerky experience that feels at odds with the car's chilled out vibe. We found on several occasions either when overtaking or pulling out at roundabouts, it can become flustered and late to respond when you ask for power and floor the throttle. Not as sharp to drive as a BMW body control is good choice of driving modes Volvos aren't renowned for engaging driving experiences in the same way as a BMW may be, focusing more on comfort than sporty handling. The S90 isn't any different, but it's Volvo's refreshingly honest and open awareness that its customers value comfort over engagement that makes the S90 unique in its class. There's little communication between the steering wheel and front wheels for drivers wanting an involving driving experience, but the steering itself is well weighted at least, and fits in with the car's relaxed nature. The way the car drives hinges significantly on the suspension and wheel setup. So far we've driven a model with steel springs and huge 20-inch alloy wheels, but smaller rims and the option of air suspension are both available. There's a choice of driving modes available, Eco comfort and dynamic. Each of these tweak the throttle response and the weight of the steering. It also affects the stiffness of the ride on cars fitted with the optional air suspension, which we've sampled on the V90 estate. All-wheel drive models have impressive levels of grip which inspires confidence when cornering at speed. If you push too hard the front of the car will wash wide, however you can feel the car shifting power around to help you trim it back into line. High quality dashboard plush materials and nicely finished lots of seat adjustment Volvo does interiors extremely well, and the S90 is a really pleasant place to sit. Leather upholstery is standard across the range, while the dashboard is made from high quality materials and is great to look at, it's an attractive design with a large, portrait oriented touch screen and fine detailing throughout. It's refreshingly simple, with a remarkable lack of buttons. Everything is controlled via the slick table at style screen combined with a TFT display in place of traditional dials, which is also crisp, clear and easy to configure to your requirements, for example prioritizing Satan of instructions over trip computer information. The infotainment system may take some getting used to at first, there are menus galore, but it's a fast responding system which makes it incredibly user friendly. Getting comfortable is very easy too. There's a huge amount of adjustment in the front seats, which are comfortable yet supportive and, where fitted, the electronic adjustment means you can easily perfect it by adjusting almost every section of the seat. You sit low in the S90, with the dashboard close and the center console high around you, you feel immersed in the car and, despite being very long at almost 5 meters in length, it doesn't feel daunting to drive. That's down to good all-round visibility. Comfort levels spec dependent very plush ride with small wheels and air suspension impressive refinement the S90 is an exceedingly comfortable car to while away the miles in, providing you have the right setup in terms of wheels and suspension and, of course, a smooth road. While the air suspended examples of the S90 glide across lumps and bumps in the road and isolate any harshness away from the cabin, the steel sprung versions are a little less refined. However, even with large 20-inch alloy wheels available and with steel springs fitted, the S90 doesn't ride too harshly. It can become quite jiggly over pockmarked surfaces and can thud into the worst potholes, but it's never unbearable. It does feel slightly at odds with the car's laid-back nature, though. 
If you do want a smoother ride then we'd forego the larger wheels and gain some extra comfort. It'll save you money when you buy the car big alloys are expensive, and also when you come to fit new tires. The seats are very comfortable indeed, with lots of adjustment in the front chairs, while rear seat passengers are treated to limo-like levels of legroom and their own heating and ventilation controls. Things are very hushed on the move too, even under hard acceleration, the engines remain civilized, while wind and road noise intrusion are kept to a minimum. It's a very relaxing car in which to spend time. Three trim levels to choose from all packed with equipment optional extras hike up the price Volvo's trim level structure is easy to follow. The range kicks off with momentum trim and moves up to inscription a luxury focused model and redesign a sporty looking one. Standard Volvo S90 equipment entry level momentum trim comes with 17 inch alloy wheels 18 inch for D5 models, LED headlights with automatic high beam, leather upholstery with heated front seats a 9-inch touchscreen infotainment system called Census Connect, plus an 8-inch digital instrument panel, electric driver's seat, DAB radio, SateNav, Bluetooth phone connectivity and dual-zone climate control. A raft of advanced safety equipment is also standard. City Safety is an autonomous emergency braking system which can detect pedestrians, cyclists and large animals. While Pilot Assist is a semi-autonomous piece of technology which can control the car's accelerator, brake and steering inputs up to speeds of 80 miles per hour and comes in conjunction with adaptive cruise control. Step up to inscription for more luxury, including fine Nappa leather seats, walnut interior trim, a 12-inch instrument panel display, keyless ignition and hands-free electric bootlet. Redesign models focus on sporty looks and details. There are unique alloy wheel designs on offer, or design specific bumpers, matte silver door mirrors and a bespoke grille at the front. Inside, or design sports seats are fitted in leather and alcantara with contrast stitching, there's black headlining, a sports steering wheel and or design logos dotted all over the cabin. Optional Volvo S90 accessories despite the long list of standard equipment. It's easy to add several thousand pounds worth of optional extras to the S90. You can do this by adding one of several options packs, most notable of which are, winter, heated steering wheel, heated washer nozzles, headlamp washers and heated windscreen winter plus adds adaptive headlamps, which turn in line with the steering wheel, with adaptive shadow technology both the winter and winter plus packs can have a head up display added for extra cost, too. Xenium, 360 degree parking cameras, automatic parking and an electric sunroof family, rear sun blinds, booster cushions and rear seats and power child locks you can also dip into the regular options list, and add things such as Apple CarPlay, different alloy wheels, more safety kits such as blind spot monitoring, lane departure warning and rear cross traffic alert plus adaptive dampers with air suspension. Worth a special mention is the 3,000 pounds Bowers and Wilkins stereo upgrade. It's eye-wateringly expensive, but it's also one of the best in the business, allowing you to tweak a multitude of settings. You can also choose from three different overall modes, studio, individual stage and even one to replicate being in the Gothenburg concert hall. It's a fantastic piece of kit for audio feels. Lots of standard safety kit 5 a star your own cap rating option to add more. To the Volvo S90 boasts a comprehensive list of standard safety equipment, with several features inherited from the larger XC90 SUV. Volvo labels its safety and driver assistance technology Intelli Safe. Falling under this is standard fit adaptive cruise control with pilot assist. This is a system whereby the car can take control of the accelerator, steering, and brakes meaning all you have to do is keep your eyes on the road and your hands on the steering wheel. The car will even slow down and speed up in traffic jams for you. There's also the usual suite of blind spot monitoring and lane departure warning systems available, as well as self-parking systems to really let the car do everything for you. In terms of safety, the S90 received a full 5-star rating when crash-tested by your own cap with an impressive 95% for adult occupant protection and 93% in the safety assist category. 
vast amounts of passenger space limo-like rear seat space boot well-shaped, but smaller than rivals the S90 measures in at almost 5 meters long, and that translates into a generous lip-proportioned interior. There's plenty of space up front though the S90 manages to envelope the driver and passenger thanks to a dashboard that's close to you and a center console that rises around you, but there's still plenty of head and legroom. In the back, two adults can stretch out with ease. While it's a low car, headroom is good and legroom even better. It's only the person in the middle seat who will struggle for space due to the high transmission tunnel. Luggage space can't quite match up to its rivals, though. At 500 liters, it's smaller than the boots of the BMW 5 Series, the Audi A6 and Mercedes E-Class, however it's accessed by a standard fit electric bootleg, while the rear seats split and fold electrically, too. The good news is that the boot is well shaped and square, without too many intrusions or rod shapes inside to contend with. The good news is that the boot is well shaped, without too many intrusions or rod shapes inside to contend with. Oh, 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 oh,